Welcome back to St Blasey Model World. This time we're looking at producing your own Code 3 model. But there are some important steps to take before we start doing anything with our donor vehicle. And before we do anything at all, it's probably worth just spending a few minutes talking about what Code 3 actually is. In short, we'll take a donor model, such as the one we have here, and turn it into something completely different. And that something completely different is a model that's not produced by the mainstream manufacturers. Why would we want to do this? Well, quite simply, because we can. We might have a particular interest in a range of vehicles that is not covered by the main manufacturers. And this usually involves service vehicles of various types, such as training buses, or tree lopping buses, or other ancillary vehicles. Now, because we have Code 3, it makes logical sense that we also have Code 1 and Code 2. Code 1 usually refers to a model straight from the manufacturer with no modifications whatsoever. Code 2 on the other hand is usually a limited run produced by a manufacturer for a specific purpose and that might be that a bus or a coach company has engaged a manufacturer to produce a short run of vehicles in their own livery for promotional purposes, and that's Code 2. Now, because in Code 3 production we normally take a vehicle, the donor vehicle, back to its bare metal, it follows that everything that we're looking at now will be lost. And I take a number of steps before I begin any work on the vehicle itself. Firstly I will take photographs of any of the advertising on the vehicle and this is so that I can reproduce this at a later date and some of this reproduction may end up on the Code 3 model or I might simply keep it in my library for use on different vehicles. And I will usually take photographs of all four sides of the vehicle just in case I've forgotten anything when it comes to detailing the finished product. So what sort of detail are we going to look for? Well when we look at the front of this model it's quite obvious that there are certain things that are going to need to be replicated on the model that we finish up with, our Code 3. We've got uh, fog lights both sides, headlights as well and we've got a grill here. Now that grill is a printed uh, grill. It's not actually profiled in any way. So I'll need a photograph of that so that I can reproduce that on my printer and uh, create the appropriate decal or decal uh, to re reproduce that on the finished product. Whilst our donor vehicle looks quite a good model as it stands at the moment, there are one or two things that modellers will have picked up on. Firstly, I'll just turn it round. Uh, you can see that the interior is completely made of red plastic and that's fine, but there's no colouring. Uh, the steering wheel, for example, is bright red plastic. Well, clearly that wouldn't be the case in the real vehicle so we're going to need to change that and the other thing that you may have noticed is that on this particular model which is a, an EFE bus there are two poles running right down the middle of the vehicle there's one there and uh, there's one further back I'll just move the camera around slightly we'll try and locate it it will be there there it is let's uh, get my paintbrush in the right place there we are it's just there and that runs right the way down through the vehicle. You can see it there in the bottom of the lower deck there. So there's two of those on these models. 
that's quite typical and when we put the vehicle back together they will not be there. Now when we look at the bottom of this vehicle we can see where those two poles are they've come through one there one there and uh, also around these poles to hold them in place are these two small circular plastic uh, clips they're going to have to be removed to get the uh, vehicle split up and disassembled ready for painting the other thing you need with any code 3 is a plan what's it going to become you don't want to rip one of these things apart and then suddenly realize you don't actually have either the skill the time the implements or the paint to produce something that can be used so in this project we're going to turn this vehicle into a training bus which will involve removing the poles that we've just seen the interior which will be reworked slightly and a complete bare metal respray of the shell the bodywork of the bus which will end up being yellow which is the color traditionally used by bus companies for training vehicles so there's a couple of different ways to get these plastic circular clips out of the chassis of these vehicles these models I tend to use uh, a little pick tool to do it if you're going to do that and you're a slightly younger viewer please ask somebody a little bit older to do that for you we don't want any accidents and uh, you'll have noticed that with my method of removing these uh, clips they are destroyed that doesn't concern me because I always discard them the vehicle won't be reassembled and fitted back together in the same way but uh, if you want to do that and retain the poles you can purchase these clips on the internet to put the vehicle back together so here we are we've taken out the clip from the rear of the vehicle on this donor, donor bus just hold it up there it's, it's really quite small it's just a small piece of plastic that locates over the end of the uh, pole that runs down the middle of the bus so that's one there's still one at the front I'll take that one out and then we'll move on right so there we are now uh, the one at the front of the vehicle didn't want to yield quite as easily as the one at the back often the case but uh, the combination of my pick tool and a small pair of pliers and we've got it out right so what happens now well theoretically now there's nothing holding this model together uh, it should all come apart I'll do this or try to do this one-handed while I carry on filming I'll tip it out oh, there we are it's fallen apart already so that's okay we'll just put it the right way up see if the roof comes off yes it does and uh, in the roof there you can see the two poles that ran right the way through they're fixed into the roof they're going to be removed later on on the uh, model itself what's left of it now we've got a top deck and you can see what I mean uh, about the red plastic and the color of the plastic is irrelevant but it, there's no detailing in, in here and uh, we might want to change that before we put this model back together then we've got the glass the lower deck glass that will come out that's going to be fiddly uh, and I, I won't uh, run the camera while I do that because it's very easy to break this and once you do break it your donor vehicle is uh, well <laughs> knackered is the phrase that comes to mind so after a brief struggle and uh, the fear that I may have done exactly what I warned viewers not to do uh, but it has all come out in one piece there's a slight crack uh, just on the, uh, the end there but that won't matter because that won't be visible and uh, now we've got well what have we got we've got the lower deck of the vehicle uh, with a set of seats and an interior in it and uh, we'll just see this is probably the worst thing to do on a camera but we'll see oh no it has come out that's good 
So there we are. So there are the component parts of this model. We've got uh, a roof. In fact, let's let's just put them in order, just just because we can. We'll do it that way. Turn that around. There we are. That's a bit more like it. So, lower deck with chassis and wheels still fitted. Lower deck seating. Lower deck glazing. Upper deck seating. And the roof. And the roof has still got the upper deck glazing in place. And that will come out. That's quite easy to do. There it is. So we'll put that there. And, and in the roof, of course, we've still got our two poles. So I guess probably the next thing to do is to take those out. So power pliers, a little bit of a uh, wiggle and the two poles are out. And you can see, there they are. That's the end that had the plastic clip on it at the bottom of the chassis. And that's the end that went into the roof. So now we're left with the chassis still in place with the wheels. You can see the holes where the uh, plastic clips and the pins were. The, they of course now have gone. So let's just try and take this away. Won't be too hard to do. There it comes. Put that up there. That's the chassis with the wheels and the tyres. Just turn it over. No detailing there, of course, because that will have the seats sitting on top of it. And the only thing left to do, really, to dismantle... Oh, rolling away. The only thing left to do uh, in terms of dismantling this model is to remove one wheel from each axle, uh, and then the other wheel uh, will come out with the axle attached. And the reason for doing that is that currently this, this particular model, of course, has got black wheels. And on my finished project, I want grey wheels. So uh, there'll be some painting to do there towards the end of the project. But there it is. There's uh, the vehicle stripped down. Now, doing this while I film it is almost impossible. But the technique is to put the uh, screwdriver blade in between the tyre and the chassis and you can maybe just see that slight protrusion of the wheel that sits there you want to get the screwdriver in between that gap onto the axle prise off a little bit turn the wheel prise off a bit more easy does it is the name of the game if you try to remove that with one action the wheel usually will break because the, while the tyres are rubber, the wheels are plastic. So there you have it. Our EFE donor vehicle is now stripped down into its component parts, ready to be converted into our Code 3 training bus. I hope you've enjoyed the first part of this project. Just some words of advice, I've been taking these apart for a long time and of course I know how to do it. If you're going to practice, buy a cheap model either from a well-known internet auction site or a car boot or sale or a model fair, buy something cheap to start with just uh, to make sure you don't make your mistakes on something that costs you 20 to £25 in the first place. That's it. Take care. Part two of this project coming soon. Stay safe. Bye for now.